for the opening game of the Ghana Premier League 2017-2018 season. Finally, the dust has been settled, all is set, and we are good to go. The court has paved the way and the GFA has given the green light for the Ghana Premier League to start. Here we have the two teams coming out of the tunnel. The inter allies team in an all-white jerseys and Bechem United playing in their usual lemon green outfit. We've been long waiting to start this season's Premier League, but better late to say than never. Finally, the Ghana Premier League is here, the beautiful game is here, and the passion of the nation is here. There you see the match commissioner, Kwekweya, together with the referee, leading the players out of the tunnel for the big game to kickstart here at the Tema Sports Stadium. Kwekweya is an executive and emergency committee member of the Football Association and he has the responsibility of being the match commissioner for this afternoon's game here at the Tema Sports Stadium. One of the famous stadia in Ghana, here is a stadium that has seen teams like Tema Gapoa, Real Sportif, Pram Pram Mighty Royals, Tema Youth, all once upon a time playing their home games here. And so the Tema Sports Stadium is no new territory as far as the Ghana Premier League is concerned. So we are good to go. The opening game of the Ghana Premier League 2017-2018 football season. As Inter Allies returning to the Tema Sports Stadium after last season tasting the All Wax Sports Stadium, a venue that nearly got them relegated. So here we see players exchanging pleasantries before the kickoff of this game here at the Tema Sports Stadium. Inter Allies just survived the Premier League last season together with Bechem United basically on the last day of the competition because the board needed wins to qualify Inter Allies were away to Adriana Stars but they did their best to nick a draw that eventually got them staying in the Ghana Premier League so referee for the day is Dali Gaba he's a professional teacher from Achim Oda he's going to be assisted on the lines by Alex Enin Abura Masalifu and then the fourth referee is Isaac Quay. These are the men who will be seen to the battle here at the Tema Stadium. It's time for the toss of coin. So Hashmin wins the toss. There seems to be some confusion with who has won the toss. So now it's settled. Hashmin gets to win the toss and Arjun gets to choose where his team is going to play from. So all is set. The opener of the 2017-2018 Ghana Premier League. Brought to you by Star Times, broadcast rights holders for the Ghana Premier League. They signed a deal with the Ghana Football Association for the next 10 years, and this is the second year of their engagement. So for entire lives, we have goalkeeper Kwame Ba, Hashmin Musa, Ishaaku Zakari, Fad Ibrahim, Richmond Lamte, who signed from Wafa, Mohamed Zakari, Adebayo Victorian, Michael Otu, George Amonu, Fuseni Mohamed, and Samuel Ama. On the bench is Saeed Salifu, Samuel Bequen, Maxwell Ansan, Sam Amanfo. He's on the bench for Inter Allies as well. We also do have Joseph Bafo, Richard Kwabna Entry, Bernard Kwaku. So for Inter Allies, they have decided to go for a 4 2 a 4 1 2 3 formation. That's what Coach Kenichi Yasuhashi has decided to go in for. Inter Allies are wearing an all white jerseys with white horses to match here at the Tema Sports Stadium. And then Bechem United sporting lemon green jerseys. So here's Bechem United's lineup Prince Asempa, Daniel Ergin, Martin Dua, Kofi Agbesima, Eric Ousu, Nerik Tete, Abubakar Sadiq, Hamza Mohammed, Desmond Asari, Kwame Osebonsu, and Maxwell Frimpon. On the bench, you have Hayford Mensah, Seth Soa, Augustine Ahinfo, Abdul Raza Guami, Yao Abochi, Kwajua Samwa, and Imano Ousu Boache. So, Bechem United is playing with one man up front, Nerik Tete, in a strong five-man midfield, and they are playing with four defenders at the back as well. So, they are playing with one man up, they have a packed midfield, and they release three men just to back the attacking forward for their side this afternoon. Here is the young goalkeeper, 
for Bechem United, Prince Atempa. He signed from Unistar Academy in the last two seasons. It's time to say prayers, Prince Atempa. And here's Kwame Ba. He joined from Hearts of Lions two seasons ago. Referee Dali Gaba takes a look at his watch. Game on. Hamza Mohamed. He switches to the left hand side of Bechem United. Maxwell Frimpon. Intala is to pick up the ball now. Good control from Bechem. But Intala is again will win possession. Fuseni Mohamed. Oh, good control from Richmond Lamte. Hamza. Is Bechem still in possession? But Intala is to pick up the ball. Intala is moving men forward. First free kick of the afternoon. Advantage into allies. So we're barely one minute into the game and into allies are showing clear indications of their intentions to get. So you saw him going through the defenders but he was stopped in his tracks. And if he gets to exit the game at this stage, it's going to be a very big setback for into allies. Samuel Ama. So in Thailand, who have their player seeking for medical attention at this stage in the game. So here we go again. He got he went around his marker and there was a slight push. He fell in the process and he would need some attention from the medical team of Inter Allies. The last time Bechem United visited the Tema Sports Stadium, they were beaten by four goals to zero. They are back again seeking to get results. So Kenichi Yasuhashi will have a game on his hand for Inter Allies. He left the country after passing way to the Hustabok. He's returned and he has a point to prove. Free kick for Inter Allies. The Nigerian international, Victorian Adebayo, to take the free kick for Inter Allies. Referee whistles. He goes with a killer. Nearly beat the goalkeeper. Good save by Prince Atempa. Good delivery from Victorian Adebayo. It's a corner kick. The first corner kick of the afternoon going the way of Inter Allies. Corner taken. Good corner. Flicked on. Would this be the first goal? Good save by Asempai again. Intalai's mounting early pressure. And this time, the decision go in favor of Bichem United. Here is Bichem United. Kofi Agbesima. Richmond Lamte. Oh, good pass from Lamte. Intala is moving men forward, but Bechem United will clear the alarm. Richmond Lamte again. Good turn from Lamte. Flag goes up. Decision in favor of Bechem United. Richmond Asari. Mohamed Zakari. Good play from Inter Allies. They're moving men forward. George Amonu. Ball is cleared away by Bechem United and they get the decision going their way. Free kick quickly taken by Osei Bonsukweku. Let's go, 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 let's go
The captain Arjun in possession. Narek sends one trying to locate e Eric Ousu and Ousu wins the corner kick for Bicham United. Second corner of the day and the first to Bicham United. We've done four minutes at the time of Get ready for the new season. So eight meetings between Bechem United and Inter Ally since they both tested the Premier League. Three wins for both of them and two draws. Kwame Ba fumbled on the first occasion, but was quick enough to react and grab the ball on the second try. So that was a well taken corner that caused some problems for the Inter Allies shot stopper. But he's done well to keep the ball. Inter Allies gets another free kick. Kweku Bonsu, the victim of rough play, he gets a free kick for Inter for Bechem United. Here is Bechem United. Martin Dia, but Inter Allies will break loose. Victorian Adebayo racing deep into the Bechem area. Adebayo, he turns around his marker. Oh, over elaboration on the part of Victorian Adebayo. He still hangs on to the ball. Oh my word, they've given the ball away. Now oh, the clear cut goes current opportunity by Adebayo, but he wasted so much time. A little bit of over elaboration. Zachary is brought down, free kick for Inter Allies. Free kick for Inter Allies, Michael Otu to Victorian Adebayo. He's brought down, referee says play on. Arjun sends the ball away. Hashmin will go back to goalkeeper Kwame Bang. Inter Allies. Martin Dia into the box. Asempa is equal to the task. Prince Asempa joined. You. He joined from Unistar Academy some three seasons ago and is gradually making the Bechem United number one position his own. That's a pass delivered to nobody and it goes wayward for a throw into Inter Allies. Throwing to be taken by Martin Dia. Hashmin. Hashmi sends one inside. Ball has been headed away by Kofi Agbesima. Hashmi sends a long section pass, trying to locate some more Ama. Can Ama get to the end of that ball? He does sort to keep it. It's a one on one. Can he go around his marker? Eric Ousu, Sami Ama. Rich Molamto will pick up the ball for Inter Allies. Good play. Will this be the first goal for Inter Allies? Prince Asempa again. Equal to the task for Inter Bicham United. Not a bad try from Amonu. Good delivery, but the goalkeeper had it well covered. Arjun clears the ball away. Merrick Tetas flick on goes to goalkeeper Kwame Ba. 
Hashmin. So Kwame Ba is brought to the action. Hashmi. Ball deep into Bichim's area. Husseini Mohamed fights for the ball but it goes for a throwing advantage into allies. Husseini throws one down, finds Richmond Lamte. The former Wafa Mitiuda who went for floating status and joined into allies as a free agent. Zakaria Mohamed. He's got Desmond Asari to confront. He finds Richmond Lamte. Lamte to Fad. Michael Otu. Tens wall in midfield. Victoriana De Bayo tries to go around his marker. He's lost the ball. He's cleared away from Bicham's territory. Hashmin was fouled on that occasion and referee Dali Gagba gets the decision in favor of the entire captain. Last season, in the home and away games involving these two sides, in Bechem, Intalai's lost by one goal to zero, and at the Elwak Sports Stadium, Intalai's also beat them by one goal to zero. So this afternoon, these two teams are here to settle scores. Ishahaku Zakaria. Merrick Setter fights for the ball, but he's lost it. Here is Fadi Brian. Enter Allah. That was a needless challenge. So there was a clear contact and the referee couldn't have gotten the decision wrong. Bichem player is down. Eric Ousu. He was brilliant for Bichem United in the start times GFA Gala where Bechem United went all the way to the semi-finals. Asari. Hajj Abubakar. Adebayo brings the ball back. Ball has been hooked away. Interallies have some chasing to do. Eric Osu goes back to goalkeeper. Prince Asempa. So after months of waiting, the Ghana Premier League is back and football fans can now enjoy their Saturdays and Sundays with some beautiful football from the 16 Premier League clubs. Wayward delivery, Kwame Ba is out of his area. He calms down play at the stage. It's 13 minutes at the Tema Sports Stadium in Talai 0, Bechem United 0. Shaku Zakaria, Mohamed Zakari, Shaku, that's what to control the ball well. Hamza Mohamed, Merrick Tete, Bichem United gives away possession. But it was a foul even before they lost that boy. Eric Owusu must be careful. He's getting too much into the physicality of the game. 
Even the ladies are enjoying the return of the Ghana Premier League. So right after the backhill, Ousu went in and that was a needless challenge from the Bechem United right back. He must be careful. Free kick advantage Bechem United. Hashmin Mohamed, the corporate, bringing down Hamza Mohamed. Oh, what a beauty to see these little kids being brought to the stadium. I'm wondering what will be going through his mind as a kid watching these players run after one ball on this pitch. Ishaaku Zakari, he sends a big boot inside. Eric Hose is throwing. Headed down by Michael Otu for a throw in advantage to Chem United. So, in the 2015 16 Ghana Premier League campaign, Bechem were beaten 4 0 at this venue. Entalize went to Bechem and lost by two goals to zero. In the 2016-17 campaign, Bechem beat Inter Allies 1-0 in Bechem and Inter Allies replicated the same scoreline when they beat them by one goal to zero. So, these two teams have played eight times. Bechem have won three times, Inter Allies have won three times and two games have ended in draws. Ishahaku Zakari. Throw in for Inter Allies. George Amonu. Mohamed Zakari. His penetrating pass found nobody. As Hashmin comes up for Inter Allies. Wayward delivery from Inter Allies has gone the way for a Bechem throw in. So Inter Allies have lost a couple of stars from the previous campaign. Ropa Pamensa is no more with the team. Isaac Chum also left. Abbas Mohamed, they've all left for the Exodus. But you can always trust them to fill in the gaps because they have a very well coordinated junior side that Cedar Stars FC and they've always been the feedback team for the Inter Allies senior side. It's a throw in for Bechem United. Well, it's a free kick instead. Free kick taken. Heads will go up. Eriko Usu tries to blast one into the box. He's been hooked away by Zakaria. Samuel Ama. He concedes another throw in. 18 minutes at the Tema Stadium into Ally 0, Bechem United 0. Oh, 
Into allies, making inroads into the Bichim box. Now, I forgot to say they've also lost Akwe Wahab. That enterprising centre back who can also play as a midfielder. He's joined Red Bull of the United States of America. David Aj, that's Mona Star. Hashmin brings down Merrick Tete, referee says play on. Martin Dia. He's got a game on his hand because Hashmin and Nerik Tete will be in a battle to survive in this game. That's the Bechem United striker. He's been all over the field. Daniel Edgy. Martin Dia tries the overhead. Here's Hamza. Oh, good play from Inter Allies. Referee whistles for an infringement. Hashmin. Flag was already up and Merrick Tete is offside. 21 minutes into Ally 0, Bichem United 0. What a physical way to get possession. Eric Ousu for Bechem United moving forward. Merrick Tete falls again. This time, referee is not interested. George Amonu. Victoria Nadebayo just can't get to the end of that ball. The flag was already up. He played for the Nigerian team during the championship for African nations. Discovered during the Wafu championship held in Ghana. That's a cynical challenge. A bad challenge. You'll be lucky not to get it to the books of the referee. Yes, he deserves to be on the yellow card. That was a bad challenge from Kweku Osei He just went straight for the man and not for the ball. He realized he had lost possession and the best thing he could have done was to just allow the internalized player to get possession but he went in too physically. So Kwame Osebonsu is the first man to get into the books of referee Dali Gagba. Hashmin. Prince Abeka. In Bichem United moving men forward. Kwame Ba is equal to the task. That was a good penetrating pass. And it once for once they got the fans up their seats. They thought there was danger for Inter Allies. Good play from Adebayo. Hangs on to the ball well Adebayo. He's giving it away again. 
Martin Dia. Hashmi, brilliant defensive play from the Intala is captain. Desmond Asari is giving away possession. First match in the Afobe Chamber. Impeded from behind by Adebayo and a free kick who go advantage Bechem United. Martin effects the free kick. Kofi Agbesima. There's not been an event for 25 minutes so far. So he, he knew the decision has gone to his disadvantage, and so there was nothing he could do at that point. Kwame Ba's delivery in to his opposite number, Prince Asempa. Hamza, Merrick Tete, back to Hamza. Martin Dia, back to Dia. Kofi Agbeshima, oh that's a bad challenge from Richmond Lamte. Free kick quickly taken by Desmond Asari. Hamza. Daniel Edgin. Martin Dua goes around his marker well. Sends the ball to Hamza. Ball is in hooked inside. Haji Abubakar. And it's a goal kick advantage into allies. That pass was meant for Maxo Frimpon. He couldn't get to the end of that one. So after this game, seven, six more games to go because the Diana Stars Liberty would not be coming up due to the involvement in the CAF Champions League. But the big one will be in Sogakope tomorrow when Wafa come up against Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Flag already up against Eriko Usu of Bechem United. 28 minutes. Bechem United and Inter Allies still yet to break the deadlock. Kwame Ba. Amonu. Kofi Agbesima heads the ball away. Hamza fights for it with Richmond Lamte, and Hamza gets the decision in his favor. That was a good run down the right hand side, and the sliding tackle came in timely for Inter Allies. It's not a corner kick for Bichem United. Bichem United with a throw in. With a corner kick, 
So Eric Owusu will leave the ball for Martin Dua to take up that responsibility. Corner taken, it's flicked on. It goes for another. This time it's a throw in for Bichem United near the corner flank. We've done 30 minutes exactly here at the Tema Sports Stadium. It's no go to Bichem, no go to Inter Allies. Martin Dua's throw in. Merrick Tete is giving the ball away. Throw into Inter Allies. Throw in taken. Good play from Hamza, but it's going to touch for another throw-in advantage with Chim United. And Eric Owusu, who assumed the throw-in duties, will pick up the ball again. Another throw-in for the Chim United. Hamza, Eric Ousu, back to Hamza. Michael Otu has given the ball away. This can be dangerous. Eric Ousu, shed late for that ball, throwing for Inter Allies. Just one Asari for Bichem United. Haj Abubakar looking for space. He finds Eric Ousu down the right. Sends a cross inside. Cleared away by Hashmi. Powerful header backing by Kofi Agbemeshi. Victoriana the bio control as well. Free kick advantage into allies Michael Otu. Victim of rough play on that occasion. Victoriana de Bayo again goes around his marker, sends the Kelly one, but this time he goes over the top for a goal kick. He did well to create space for himself, but the final delivery let him down, went just over the top, nowhere near target. That's the Nigerian international. That's one Asari. Free kick advantage by Chim United. That's one Asari. He's giving the ball away for a throw in advantage. Bichem United. 
we'll have to defend this one. Go, 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 it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Hashmi against Nerik Tete. Hashmi has been a tower in defense for Inter Allies. In the 34 minutes done so far, he's given a good account of himself, playing so resolutely in defense for Inter Allies. So this man has got a game to prove to his new employers that he's got what it takes to play in the Premier League. Oh, good play from that side into allies. Can they send a cross in? Samuel Ama. He's been operating from the left flank so well, giving Eric Owusu a lot to think about. That's Monasari. Head up by Arjun. Intalis have struggled to put their passes together, and so has Bechim, resulting in the uneventful nature of this game, at least in this 36 minutes done so far. Zakaria. Hashmin. Long searching pass into the Bechem box is been flicked hey, on hey, hey. by Kofi Agbesimel. Yes, Zachary. Samuel Ama. His shot goes straight to goalkeeper Prince Asempa. So Asempa had it well covered. George Amonu. Now here is Eric Ousu on the right flank. That's Monasari. Sends in a teasing one. And good save from Kwame Ba from the boot of Martin Bia. Amonu. Inter Allah is coming so close. Fuseni Mohamed came so, so close. And that's probably the closest Inter Allah have come in the game so far. Corner kick for Inter Allies. George Amonu sends one inside. Goalkeeper Prince Asempa graduates from the Unistar Academy, making light work of that corner kick. Ishahaku went in and joined the fray. Haji. Oh, 
Hussein Ibrahim looking for Richmond Lamte. We've done 40 minutes at the Tema Stadium. Miss Intala is 0, Bichem United 0. Hamza is looking for Nerik Tete. Nerik against Hashmi. Nerik gets the ball back. Haji Abubakar Sadiq. Intala will move forward trying to create spaces would this be the first goal for inter allies they get the ball out of the danger area Mohamed Zakari and the fans are unhappy with how inter allies are playing so here he goes Zakari instead of going straight at goal he decided to go to the left hand side and look for George Amono who couldn't do anything with that one so in Thailand, have a man down at this stage. Last Sunday, in Thailand, we were in. They will and they drew goalless with Dreams FC in their last warm-up game before the start of the Premier League. So Asempa can afford to cool up. So again, the Japanese community are in Ghana to support Kenichi Yasuhashi. Kenichi Asuhashi has got some talking to do. So that's the Bichem United coach, Bismarck Kobe Mensah. So the Bichem striker, the main man for them, is off the pitch receiving treatment. So that Yao Prayer Cook Energy combination is still working here. Hamza, Eric Owusu, Hashmin, Victoria Adebayo. Down the right side, that's the step over. Goes around this marker. Good play from Adebayo. Would this be the first goal? Oh! Asempa does well to come out of his area. That was a brilliant move from the Nigerian striker. Yes, he went around his marker with Chiki. Asempa was equal to the task. And it's a Bechem United corner to defend. Richmond Lamte will take it for to allies. Well taken. And Prince Asempa has got a job to do. That's Richmond's delivery again. And Hashmin. Nobody marked. Intalites look the more dangerous side at this stage in the game. Free kick advantage between United. Nerik Tete brought down. So, indeed, that was a clear foul on the Bichim striker. 
Arjun sends one looking for Desmond Asari. Here is Adibayo again. Can he go around Daniel Arjun? He goes around Arjun. Beautiful tackle from the Mitchum captain. That's the captain's tackle just to stop the striker in his ranks. Despite it though by elaboration, Adebayo has been the most lively Bechem United, lively to Allies player on the field this afternoon. So we're doing one minute of time added on 45 minutes up already here at the Thomas Sports Stadium. So Bechem United have tasted all kinds of results here. So that's the owner and bankroll of Bechem United, Kinsley Uso Achao, also known as Agama sitting together with the CEO, Kinsley Osei-Bonsu. Fahd Ibrahim throws one down for Amonu. And the ball rolls over the line for a goal kick advantage. The Chem United. 45 minutes up, we're into time added on. So there the whistle goes. Referee Dali Gagba, the professional teacher from Achimoda, has brought the first half to an end. So after 45 minutes of the opening game of the Ghana Premier League 2017-2018 season, it's Inter Ally 0, Bechem United 0. Yao Preku and Kenichi Yasuashi have got some talking to do. And in Thailand, know that without the over elaboration on the part of Victoria and Adebayo, they could have probably been up by one. So at the end of the first 45 minutes at the Tema Sports Stadium in the opening game of the 2017-2018. So in Thailand, they know dropping points at home on match day one could be detrimental for them. A team that basically had to survive the last day of the Premier League with a draw away to Doma Bay, the Joanna Stars, would have to start the Premier League very well. So Bechema are getting ready for a double substitution. That's Kenichi Yasuashi and Yaopreko. They're aiming for their first three points. So, just waiting for the kickoff here at the Tema Sports Stadium. Very soon we'll get a confirmation of Bechem United's substitution as Maxwell Frimpon makes way for the young enterprising Kojo Samoa, formerly of DC United. So that's Kojo Samoa, brilliant player by all standards. He'll be coming into the fray alongside Imano Ousubuache, sporting number 12. So Kojo Samoa gets his first taste of Premier League football. He was given the taste of Premier League football when Bechem played in the Star Times Gala competition. But this is the real Premier League. The season is underway. It's goalless and it's been brought into the fray. Let's see what impact it brings into this game. So here's a confirmation of the other substitution. Kweko Sebonsu is making way for Emmanuel Ousubwache. So two substitutions for Bechem, one for Inter Allies. Let's see how it goes. Entire life will kickstart the second half. 
Richmond lumps it to his right side. He finds Fad Ibrahim. Bad challenge. Fad Ibrahim bringing down his man. Second yellow card for Inter Allies. Fad Ibrahim goes into the books of Dali Gagba. So Fad knows he could have avoided this yellow card. He was comp so that's a body check, but it was too physical. Kofi Agbesima sends one in. Here is Nerik Tete. He's giving the ball away for a throw into Inter Allies. So on one occasion, Inter Allies have picked up a draw here against Bechem United. But Bechem United have never scored a goal against Inter Allies at this venue. We're yet to see whether they'll break that jinx this afternoon. Big boat in by Hashim. Adebayo is waiting for the boy. He's got captain Dan Arjun to confront. But it's a goal kick advantage, Bechem United. Prince Asempa nearly gave the ball away. Zachary, Richmond Lamte, brought down, gets the decision in his favor. So Bechem United have a man down. Eric Ousu, the right fullback, has been enterprising for Bechem. He's been the brighter spot for them. But the man who is receiving treatment kindly is a former proud United striker. So he had the owners of Bechem United eagerly watching proceedings. They know very well that if they drop three points, that could be a poor start for them in the new campaign. They engage in series of friendly matches before the start of the Premier League. They beat Bofuakwa by three goals to one. They drew 1-1 one -one with Bia United. And they drew goalers with Elmina Sharks. They had also drawn 2-2 two -two with Techiman 11 Wonders. So it's fair to say Bechem United had some decent friendly matches to prepare them ahead of the campaign. And it's telling in their performance so far. They've been able to hold into allies. It's 47 minutes and it's goalless here. So Tetaneric has been stretched out of the pitch. We see whether he's able to continue with play for Bechem United in this game. Into allies have a free kick. And the position of this free kick reminds me so well of Gokela Hoto. During his days at Inter Allies, you can just count on him to make this a goal. He's now in Algeria with Edu and starts for the Cup Champions League. How I miss him. So, Richmond Lamte, Victorian Adebayo. Let's see what they are able to do with this free kick. Would this be the first goal for Inter Allies? Richmond Lamte goes wayward. All for delivery from Lamte. The former Wafa Mitioda has given Bechem United a goal kick and the owners of Inter Allies. Then your screen a couple of seconds ago, frustrated by that free kick. Richmond brought down, gets the free kick. He's one skillful player. If you don't keep your taps on him, he's always going to get a better side of you, Richmond Lamte. He decided to go for free floating status. Oh, that's not a bad try at all from Zachary. He's combining so well with Lamte in midfield for Inter Allies. 
Prince Asempa. So that's Lamptey's delivery again. He just liked the direction, but he had good instincts. Yeah, it's done. Hamza. Long searching pass. Nobody there for Bechem. United. Fadi Ibrahim. Eric Osu is down. You need treatment from the medical team. We've done four minutes of second half action, 49 in total. It's goalless. So here are some of the players of Inter Allies who could not make the first 18 month squad observing proceedings from the stands. Victorian Adebayo tries to locate Zachary Lamte. Would it be the first goal? What a goal! Dan Amalfo has made it 1 0 for Inter Allies. Just against the run of play, Inter Allies have broken the deadlock. On the 50th minute mark of the game, it's in Allies 1, Mitchell United 0. Good goal by all standards. So Victor and Adebayon saw his men in the box, well controlled by Zachary. Lamptey's pass to Amalfo. Amalfo, good connection. It's 1-0 for Inter Allies. And you can hear the fans chanting. It's 1 0 for Inter Allies. That amount for. So good substitution by Kenichi Yasuhashi. Bringing in amount for. And amount for has given Inter Allies the lead here on 51 minutes at the Tema Stadium. Hamza. Let's see how they react. Bechem United. Hamza is brought down. Free kick for Bechem United. Just on the edge of the box. Free kick for Bechem United. Martin Dua, Hamza Mohammed to effect that free kick for Bechem United. Hamza Benz one, that's a wayward delivery. Wasted opportunity from Bechem United. Kwame Ba sends one deep inside Bechem territory. He finds Victorian Adebayo, the Nigerian international. He's proven to be an asset for entire life. He just must be straightforward with his play. Sometimes he, he overindulges. Oh, Richmond Lamte, brilliant play from Inter Allies. Fad Ibrahim sends one into the box. Adebayo, he lacked the idea exactly what he wanted to do on that occasion. It's a throw in for. Bechem United, Kenichi Yasuhashi, his return to the Ghana Premier League, might just see him picking his first three points on match day one. Richmond Lamte. Amanfo, the goal scorer. Good space, Amanfo. Good play from Inter Allies. Switching their passes together brilliantly at this stage. Here is Fad. Zachary. Mohamed. Hangs on to the ball. Looks for a penetrating pass. Adebayo, he's giving the ball away. Dan Arjun. 
Carries into our life. Michael Otto has given away possession and Adebayo was unable to get the ball so a go for it. Welcome go kick to Bechem United. 54 minutes into our life one Bechem United zero. Prince Asempa sends one inside. Racing for the boys, Kojo Samoa. Kojo steals possession. Here is Kojo, traps the ball back. Good defensive play coming from Fuseni Mohammed for Inter Allies. Throw in taken. Unable to make it count on that occasion. Looks like a, it's a corner kick advantage. Bechem United. From the boot of Yao Abochi, who just came into the game from the second half start. Kwame Ba eagerly organizing his defenseman so he doesn't get caught off guard. Corner taken. Cleared away. Ball is back into Interallies territory, but Fad Ibrahim does well to head the ball for another corner to Bechem United. Corner taken by Martin Bia. But nothing seems to be working for Bechem United. Here is the striker they signed from Proud United. So here is the corner again. The connection just not on for Bechem United. Come to think of an equalizer. Kwame Ba with a big boot inside. Victorian at the bio. Oh, beautiful pass from Rismond Lamte. At the bio! At the bio! 2 0 for Inter Allies. Brilliant goal from the Nigerian international. It's 57 minutes at the Thomas Sports Stadium and Victorian Adebayo has made it 2-0. Yeah. And the fans are happy with every moment of this game they've enjoyed so far. So he got the ball. That's a delicate pass from Richmond Lamte. Then Zakaria gave it back to Adebayo. Went around the goalkeeper. Great goal by our standard. Into Allies 2, Bechem United 0. So you can hear the fans. Oh, so that's Kwame Ba celebrating on the camera. So the fans have started rooting for Kenichi Yasuhashi. Everywhere he goes, he's a fan's favorite, Kenichi. What a start to his second spell in the Ghana Premier League, Kenichi Yasuhashi. He's made it. He's been a fan's favorite everywhere he's gone. Isaku Zakari. Daniel Arjun to his goalkeeper, Prince Asempa.
Interlight will be getting ready for their second substitution of the afternoon. So Bechem United are now completely out of sorts. They need to put their house in order. Here is Hamza. He's giving the ball away. Michael Otu, the former Unistar Academy midfielder. He's fitted so well into this inter allies team. Here is Kojo Poku. Kojo Asamoah's delivery goes wayward. Substitution for inter allies anytime soon. So Richard Entry, the former Liberty Professionals left back, is coming in to replace Fad Ibrahim. Fad is already on a yellow card, so it's a technically wise decision to take away a player already on a yellow card and bring in someone else. So there's a confirmation of the substitution. Richard entry in for Fad Ibrahim. Fad has had a decent game, but for the yellow card, I'm sure he would have still been playing in this game. 60 minutes, 30 more to go into Allies 2, Bichem United 0. Free kick decision goes the advantage of Bichem United. Martin Dia, the victim of rough play from Victorian Adebayo. Here's Martin Dia. Ball hooked away by Daniel Arjun. So, Entry's first touch of the ball, he sends a through pass, trying to get to Zakaria. Haji Abubakar Sadiq. Good play, he gets the ball too. Hamza is giving the ball away. Michael Otu. Daniel Amanfo, the first goal scorer. Oh, good dummy from Amanfo. Zakari. Michael Otu. Trying to locate Victorian at the bio. His first touch giving the ball away for a throw in advantage by Chem United. Martin Dua, Abu Bakr, Sadiq Haji gets the free kick for Bechem United. Flag up, free kick in favor of Bechem United. We've done 62 minutes. Bechem United down by two goals to zero. Goals from Dan Amanfo and Victorian Adebayo separating the two sides here at the Tema Sports Stadium. Hashmin brings down his man. Free kick for Bechem United. I told you earlier on about a battle between Hashmin and Nerik Tete. It's really proved to be an interesting battle. The former proud United striker having it difficult against the experienced Hashmin Mohammed, who recently extended his stay with Inter Allies for the next two years. Desmond Asari. He joined from Liberty Professionals two seasons ago. Hamza to Kojo Poku. Kojo Samoa is flagged offside. Bechem takes possession. Referee whistles. Hashmin again. He must be very careful not to go into the books of the referee. He's been in Talai's best man at the back so far. But he must be careful. 
So a body check on Hamza and the referee got the decision spot on. Kwame Ba would not want to concede on match day one of the Premier League. Free kick for Bicham United. Desmond Asari, Martin Dia, Hamza Mohamed, all of them interested in taking this free kick. Let's see how it goes for Bicham United. Looks like it will be Hamza to take it. Ref whistles. That's Monastaris delivery straight into the human wall. Here is a counter attack for entire life. Dan Amanfo going deep into the Bichem box. Dan Amanfo wasting so much time. He still has the ball. Oh, disappointing delivery. Ball goes wayward. And that came from the boot of Richard Entry, the former Liberty man. So Amanfo had all the space. He had just one man to contend with, but he wasted so much time and he couldn't get his delivery well inside. Dan Amanfo again. Good play from Mohamed Zakari. 65 minutes into Allies 2, but United 0. Both goals coming in the second half of the game. Mohamed Zakari. Not too sure what he wanted to do because he had several options on that occasion. It's 2 0 in, fa in favor of Bich Inter Allies. 66 minutes. Prince Asempa. Richard Entry switches to the far right hand side looking for the bio, but Prince Asempa is equal to the task. Martin Dia. Desmond Asari tries to get a through pass, but is stopped by Inter Allies once again. Oh, lovely skill from Mohamed Zakari, but it goes for a throwing advantage. Bicham United. The bio is brought down. Free kick advantage into our lives. Yellow card to Martin Dia. The entire allies. Nigerian imports is posing a lot of problems. So Martin Dia is on a yellow card. Ted Bacham United player to go into the books of referee Dali Gagba. Here's the confirmation of the yellow card to Martin. At the bio sends a Kelly one nearly beat the goalkeeper. So well taken, but the goalkeeper had it well covered. A second look at this free kick from Adebayo. You don't fault the goalkeeper. The best he could have done was to parry it over the bar.
Which was Lampte's corner. Kuja Samoa. Free kick Bechem United. 69 minutes. 21 more minutes to go from the Temaspor Stadium. It's Inter Allies 2, Bechem United 0. So that's a bad challenge on Desmond Asari. Decision goes the advantage of Bechem United. So that's Desmond Asari. He played for Liberty Professionals Junior side before making a switch to Bechem United. Martin Dia sends one into the box, headed away. Victorian Adebayo. Victorian Adebayo with a through pass. Dan Amanfo. Oh, missing the pole by inches. Amanfo is getting some good scoring opportunities and he must make them count. I was telling you earlier, the last time Bechem United visited the Thomas Sports Stadium, they were beaten by four goals to zero. And this time they are down by two goals and we've made 70 minutes of action here at the Thomas Sports Stadium. Michael Otu Adebayo is brought down in a very dangerous area Seventy-one minutes at the Thomas Sports Stadium. Inter Allies two, Bechem United zero. Free kick for Inter Allies. Just outside the eighteen-yard box. At the bio to take the free kick for Inter Allies. What a goal! Adebayo makes it 3-0, well taken. 3-0 for Inter Allies. Victorian Adebayo has made it 3-0, well taken free kick by the Nigerian. Kwame Ba celebrating in the cameras. So Adebayo might end up being the star man for Inter Allies. He took it for a low grounder. Oh, well taken free kick. Brilliant free kick. And Kwame Ba knows at this stage the business has been done already. It's over. Three zero for Inter Allies. I told you this they scored four goals against Bechem United at this venue before and they've got what it takes to score four goals. Adebayo. He decides to go all the way to his goalkeeper Kwame Ba. Without wasting time, he sends a big boot inside. Martin Duya.
free kick for Inter Allies. Substitution for Inter Allies. George Amonu is making way for Bernard Kwaku. He's had a decent game, Amonu. So there goes Sinkwaku. Let's see what impact he brings into this game. The question now is, will Inter Allies repeat the scoreline of the 2015-16 season when they beat Inter when they beat Bichem by four goals to zero at the same venue? That's all to play for. That's Monasari. Chess away, well away from his markers. Martin Dia. Free kick advantage into allies. Zakaria Mohammed. Richard Entry making his debut for Inter allies. But he gives the ball away to nobody. Richmond Lamte also making his debut in a competitive game. Bernard Kwaku is shoved off the ball. Martin Dua cast it away. Yao Abochi being heckled. Decision goes advantage by Chem United. Koja Samoa Haji Sadiq Abu Bakar Desmond Asari He graduated from the Liberty Professionals under 20 Desmond Asari Sporting 16 for Bechem United Very good player Hamza To Asari again This time in Thailand will take possession in midfield Desmond Lante Zakari Mohamed. Richmond, the former Wafa midfielder. Kwame Bai is brought into action. He's yet to make it work that will trouble him. So far, he's been on a virtual holiday imposed for Inter Allies. Free kick for Inter Allies. Shed target on the part of Bechem United striker. So Daniel Amalfo is the man to go into the books of referee Dali Gagba. So here is the Japanese community in Ghana here to root for Kenesi Yashuhashi. So this is why he got the yellow card and he rightly deserves it. Dan Amalfo. Richmond Lamte, he's lost the ball. Here is Pichem United making moves into Inter Allies area. Yawabochi, this can be dangerous. That was a dive, and the referee would not have any of that. Free kick for Inter Allies. 78 minutes, 79 minutes. Inter Allies lead by three goals to zero. Two goals from Adebayo. He nearly went through the defense of Inter Allies. But when it mattered most, he decided to dive. 
He's lucky not to get into the books of the referee for simulation. Mohamed Zakari was trying to play the one two with Adebayo, but it didn't work. Hamza, good dummy, sends a through one. Nerik Tete, disappointing delivery from Nerik Tete. What, 10 minutes away from regulation time is good. Tama Sports Stadium is the venue, and Inter Allies lead by three goals to zero. Dan Amanfo and Victorian at the bye on the goal scorers. Two from the Nigerian International and one from Amanfo. So I hold up here at this moment. Bismarck Kobe Mensah will be disappointed with the outcome of this game making his debut as a coach so here is Victorian Adebayo he got the ball through to Zachary and the pass came from Richmond Lamte and here Dan Amanfo made no mistake about the first goal and that was a lovely and delicate pass from Richmond Lamte Victorian Adebayo with a second goal But it was the third goal that will compete for the goal of the week. Well taken free kick and goalkeeper Sempa could only watch disappointingly as the ball just got into the net for the third goal for Inter Allies. Nine minutes before regulation time is Inter Allies 3 but Chem United 0. Hamza, Yao Abochi. He's still moving all alone, Yao Abochi, but he can't do it alone. He's been dispossessed of the ball. Reaching entry. Oh, another faulty pass from entry. Desmond Asari looking for Nerik. Ishahaku is brought down. Free kick advantage into allies. 82 minutes. At the Tema Stadium, Inter Allies 3, Bechem United 0. Goalkeeper Prince Asempa has picked up three balls from his net so far. Mohamed Zakari with a through pass. Can Amanfo get to the ball? He does well to control. Dan Amanfo. He's giving the ball away. Free kick into our lives. Hey, hey. 
Richmond Lamte. Kwaku. Desmond Asari. Good play from Asari. I would not be surprised if he wins the man of the match because he's been brilliant. But for what Adebayo has done, you cannot take anything away from him for being the man of the match. Koja Samoa tries to play the one-two with Tabochi. He gets a return cross, comes in away by Hashmin. Flag was already up. Decision in favor of Inter Allies. 85 minutes, five more to go. What a way to kickstart your campaign, Inter Allies. For a team that had to survive on the last day of the Premier League, to start this way, it couldn't have come any better for Inter Allies. Ball travels over the line for a goal kick advantage, Bicham United. Sorry, that was a throw in on the far left hand side. Ishahaku has been brilliant partnering with Hashmin in the center of defense for Inter Allies. Aston pass delivery. Flicked on by Nerik Tete, but he wins the free kick. So that was the challenge from Ishahaku. He hit the back of his head. That might be very painful. Everyone, 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 everyone. Nerik Tete would need medical attention. He's one player who has been fouled many, many times in this afternoon's game. So Nerik Tete, the striker for Bechem United, will be seeking treatment. So here is the pass from Adebayo that resulted in the first goal. Zachary pulls it back to Lamte. Lamte with a delicate pass to Dan Amanfo. He does no mistake and connects brilliantly for Inter Allies' first goal. And this is the second goal. Brilliant pass from Lamte. Adebayo took his time, composed well, and he just... Unleash the low one past the goalkeeper for the second one. But it's the third goal that can compete for the goal of the week. Well taken free kick. And Asempa had no answers to it whatsoever. Inter Allies 3, Bechem United 0. He, the goalkeeper was late for the ball as a matter of fact. But the ball had a bounce before it got into the net. 87 minutes. Temporary hold up at the Thomas Sports Stadium in Ta Allies 3, Bechem United 0. It's 88 now. Kenichi Yasuhashi will be a happy man. Making his competitive debut with Inter Allies, having returned to the country after passing ways with Accra Hearts of Oak. He went to Nigeria to coach with Yao Prekon at Ifiani Uba. And they both return to Inter Allies, and they've got three goals and three points in waiting from their first game with Inter Allies. Bicham United would have to hurriedly go back home and pick up the pieces and wait for their second game of the competition. (laughs) 
We've had some stoppages in the second half. I'm expecting not less than three minutes of time added on. From the several stoppages we've had, it will be fair for referee Dali Gagba to get on to with some time added on. So Nerik Tete is being taken into the ambulance. So let's take a look at the challenge again from Ishahaku. Yo, he hit the back of his head. So that was a dangerous one. But here's a player who has been, you know, fouled many times in the game. It was unintentional, but it's getting him visiting the hospital at this stage. The former Proud United striker has been taken into the ambulance. It's our prayer nothing happens to him. Hamza. So we are doing seven minutes of time added on. Seven hooping minutes. So here's the confirmation of how many more minutes will be done. Seven hooping minutes. Kwame Ba has been on a virtual holiday. Nothing for him to do in this afternoon's game, really. Hamza Martin Dia free kick for Bicham United Hamza has been good for Bicham this afternoon they've not played that bad but entire lives have been the better side that's one Asari Dan Arjun Martin Dia Abu Bakar Sadiq Haji Entry brings down his marker Free kick for Bechem Imano Boache the man that was brought down Koja Samoa Another free kick for Bechem United. Yawabuchi brought down on that occasion. So late pressure coming from Bechem. So, Nerik Tete has been taken to the hospital. He's been taken to the hospital in the ambulance. We wish him well and a speedy recovery. We've done three minutes of the seven of time added on here at the Tema Stadium. So that's the ambulance taking Nerik to the hospital. Free kick for Bechem United.
Richmond Lamte committed that foul and he didn't escape the lenses of the referee. He's got to get the yellow card for that Richmond Lamte. He joined from the West Africa Football Academy after deciding to seek floating status and join as a free agent. So he's not the only Wafa player who has joined Inter Allies as a free agent. The last two seasons, Martin Entry also joined as a free agent. Hamza's delivery. Flicked on by Abochi. Koja Samoa falls in the box. Referee will have none of that. Another bad challenge coming from the Inter Allies number 28, Richard Entry. That's the confirmation of the yellow card to Richmond Lamte. The former Wafa man. So that was the kick on Koja Samoa. That young chap from DC United. Hashmin's duties in the second half has not been like when he was in the sec first half. Together with the back line of Bitch Inter Allies, they've not had a lot to do in terms of mopping up and tidying up. Two goals from Victorian Adebayo and one from Dan Amanfo is the story so far here at the Tema Sports Stadium. Kwame Ba equal to the task. Any moment from now, I expect Dali Gagba. He takes a look at his watch. Whistle to his mouth. Emmanuel Owusu Yawa Bochi against Amanfu That's Monasari's throw in. Haji Abubakar Sadiq. Hamza, he's giving the ball away. Inter allies, yes, Kwaku. Inter Allies have been the dominant side. They played brilliantly, and I'm not surprised they are. Will Adebayo get his hat trick? The flag is up. There the whistle go. End of story. At the Tema Sports Stadium, Inter Allies have beaten Bechem United on match day one of the Ghana Premier League by three goals to zero. First goal scored by Dan Amanfo and the second and third goals scored by Victorian Adebayo. Coincidentally, the man of the match for this afternoon's game at the Tema Sports Stadium.
It's been an interesting game to witness here at the Thomas Sports Stadium. Entire lights came, they saw, and they've conquered. On their return to the Thomas Sports Stadium, they've won emphatically by three goals to zero. And that's Kwame Ba. He says, Allah is great. So here we go with highlights of the first, second half of the game. Richmond Lamte get the ball to Amanfo, but Dan Arjun got it out of the area. So here is the first goal for Inter Allies. Adebayo spotted Zachary, and then Lamte got the ball to Dan Amanfo, and Amanfo made no mistake by connecting for the first goal for Inter Allies. He didn't even have a target right, but the most important thing was the ball to have entered the goalpost. This was the pass that scored the goal from Lamte. At the bio, made no mistake, rounded up Kwame Ba, and the ball just went straight into the net. But I tell you what, it's a third goal that can on any day compete for the goal of the week. That's a celebration by Kwame Ba. At the bio, took this free kick, and Atempa did well to parry it over the bar. He had it well covered. So this was another opportunity, but it was wasted by... So this is the third goal. Well taken free kick, but there was some lazy goalkeeping from Asempa. Great goal by our standards. 3-0 for Inter Allies. So at the end of match day one, Ghana Premier League commentary from the Thomas Sports Stadium is Inter Allies 3, Bechem United 0. Welcome back to uh, the stadium or the pitch here is the Tema Sports Stadium all the way in Tema Accra and once again Bechem United have failed to score a single goal at the Tema Sports Stadium. This is their third outing since 2016-17 season and just like those previous outings they failed to score a single goal here. This time they were beaten by three goals to nothing and I'm here with the coach of Inter Allies. He's back to the Ghana Premier League and he's back to doing wonders. Congratulations coach, what was the secret for you today? I think uh, our player worked very hard and that was a secret. Mm. Now, uh, three goals is a big margin for you. What really did you tell your players? What was the inspiration to go all out there and score as many as three goals? Uh, we had a game plan and a specific game plan and our players played according to the uh, uh, game plan. That's why we scored three goals. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. So that was coach of Inter Allies, Kenichi Achiwashi. Now I have with me coach of Bechem United, Bismarck Kobe Mensah. Bismarck, what did you guys do wrong? <coughs> I think um, in the second half, we didn't show up. Mm. I think we gave we give in a very easy three goals, which was, for me, very disappointing. Mm. Last season, you guys survived by the skin of your teeth uh, to be in the Ghana Premier League. Your season has begun here again, and you already have lost your first game by three goals to nothing. What is the way forward for Bechem United? Uh, we, go, we should go back and work very hard, and also try to correct ourselves. The, the, the only thing to, for us to get better is to you know, correct our mistakes and try not to make it again. Right. I think the first uh, half was not bad, but the second half, I think we lost the game in the second half. Okay, thank you very much. So we wish him all the best. He's the coach of uh, Bechem United in the person of Bismarck Kobe Mensah. I have with me the captain of uh, Bechem United. You guys look very down. What went wrong with you on the field of play? Uh, as you can see, the, the terrain, I mean the attractive. At least some of our players don't know how to play on it. And that, you, you can see some of our players can't control even ball controlling and ball breaking and passing is difficult for them mm. because of their pass. So that makes a little bit of loss of concentration. That yeah. makes us sure. lose this game. We wish you all the best. Okay, in the thank you. So that is it for you. Bechem United will have a lot more to do. Ball control and a, a lot more will be expecting from them. But a man of the match, uh, Adebayo Victorian, the Nigerian, is here uh, with us. He scored two goals to make sure Intalai is won by three goals to nothing here. And uh, he speaks French. 
but I'd like him to talk. And then I'm sure the sister of Adebayo will tell us more in English. Uh, congratulations, but what was the inspiration for you entering today's game? Bon, faut lui dire quand depuis à la maison quoi j'ai déjà préparé mon match quoi j'ai déjà dit à mes amis quoi il faut compter sur moi moi je gère le problème il me donne tellement le ballon moi je gère je marque seulement hmm. uh, he says from the house he have the anxiety in the house and he told all his friends what he's going to do today so he was ready from the house before coming here hmm. so the, his problem is just give him the uh, uh, the oh. ball you know what to go with it well, thank you very much okay. A lot more. Uh, let's get a presentation of the Man of the Match award to Adebayo. All right, thank you very much uh, for that. A lot more we'll be expecting from uh, Victor and Adebayo in the season. He's at the first game, gone already, and he scored two goals. A lot more we'll be expecting from him. This has been it uh, from the Tema Sports Stadium. Inter Allies 3, Bechem United 0. Tomorrow we come your way once again with another big game all the way in Sogakope. Wafa will be hosting Kotoko. Once again, Kotoko are also yet to win a game in Sogakope. Will it be the same story like it did happen in Tema? Stay with us and find out right here on Star Times Mixed Channel.